here with my last Lego Ninjago's in flyer review. And this one is on Wraith and Boro. <coughs> so on the front of the boxes you see Lego logo and Jago logo and picture of the face of the minifigure that comes within and you can see everything that's included with it and the flyer in action and another one the minifigure and the name and you see the age group, set number, and the amount of pieces. And then you see... Then you see a build rip fly thing, and actual size of the ninja stars, and... All what's included, and all the flyers, which I previously reviewed, and that's about it with their boxes into the booklets. So on the front of each of them, there's the same picture as on the front of the boxes, but a little smaller, but I'm just going to show one. Uh, yeah. What you do with the pieces, and then, and then they all have around 17 pages of building, and you can see Add for how it's done again, and add for the website, and add for all the flyers that I've previously reviewed, and little promotional thing, and add for all the big sets. Don't have the money, but see the pieces included, and you see how to win on the online survey. And yeah. to the minifigs themselves. So first off is Moro. So the colors do go pretty well together like this dark green, minty green, and clear yellow. So, and I have this dragon-like thing on his chest there holding these ropes on. Same with this thing on the back. And as you may think the head might be opaque, but actually, if you take out the hair piece, it's also that color. And yeah. And so if you're like, so this is like a good way to get this mini figure without it in those big sets, but not with the cape, but doesn't have the cape and everything. Which is kind of nice. And now to Wraith. Probably the most craziest one. Same exact like pieces and see some chains and rags on him and what looks like a bunch of rackling. But also nice little knock detail. Molded pretty well and also, some more wrappings on his face, and yeah. And it's also on the back, and yeah. And the weapons that are included with each one of them is so for Moro, you get the uh, uh, Wolverine claw pieces, and so clear yellow spire. Kind of odd, but kind of interesting. And this vine whip piece, and this large sword staff with two clear, or I mean, a uh, minty green unicorn horns and large sword there. Kind of interesting, and yeah. And then Wraiths is a Lego Knight's uh, axe piece. Same exact piece from the earlier Chima sets and Bionicle sets, but in this nice green color, and it's on a hilt piece. And a side staff with a chain that holds sort of a flail, but made of the of Bionicle gear pieces. And, uh, and now into the flyers themselves. So I'll start with 
more of those. See a good color scheme here, like this dark green, minty green, and regular green, and a little bit of black. <coughs> you can see, but with different, with the, since all the ninjas ones have gold katanas, but he has the regular green ones, which is a kind of good touch up, and rates will add that too, and this nice printed tile piece, just like on his chest. And, uh, bottom piece, also that color, instead of gold. And Moro's. See, this tile piece, it doesn't match anything on him, but alright. Which might be fine for Baking. And, and the color scheme is uh, this minty green and navy blue. Kind of an interesting color scheme, and same exact uh, copter piece, but also in that color. And same thing as Moro's. For the katanas and bottom tile when in the air. So now let me get these. And here's how you do. Just put them right in there and just put this capsule over there. And then make sure that it's lined with the things here. Twist it and it's locked into place. You just put the rip cord in and you're ready to go. And I'll do that with more. I'll go quickly. I'll just move the camera aside. Well, how do you do it? Just pull the circle cord and it flies. The harder you pull it, the more higher it'll go than what you just saw. Like, like that. So if you're doing it outside, make sure that you're in a very open space, so it doesn't get caught on a roof or in some trees. And let's get that in. And now, final part. Because I am kind of pleased with them. I really dig these flyers. It's a good color scheme and good mean figures. There's any. And so, if you're looking to have Moro and Wraith minifigures without having those big, huge sets, and this is a good way to get them, then go get these. And also, good choices of weapons, and yeah. And so now, on to the conclusion. Here we have all of the Ninjago Erjutsu Flyers, all in their spinning glory. We got our trusty ninjas of Zane, Jay, Kai, and Cole. So, there. And the two villains of Wraith and Moro. And I hope you enjoyed all these reviews as well as I did. And a very good line from Ninjago and. We'll see y'all later with like the dimensions and yeah.